Let's go again with Comrade Ajero, Dr. Oni. Just give us a minute. Uh, Comrade, could you go ahead and tell us, has NLC gotten its wish, eventually, finally? Well, can I, uh, please, can I hear what you, what you said by again? Well, having heard that the federal government says that they will no longer remove subsidy, they will make provisions beyond June 2022, has NLC gotten its wish? After June 2022, what happened? NLC is still standing on its position. Uh, Why? On the issue of... Well, the, the, the federal government didn't tell you they have they abolished it. They are postponing the evil days. And then we have, what we are doing is sensitization of Nigerians on this info of poor subsidy remover or so-called increase in, in pump price of petroleum products. In fact, this issue of uh, a, a subsidy remover, I don't know how many times they will, they will announce it. They announced it in 2012 that they have removed subsidy. They announced it again in 2013 that they have removed subsidy. So what other subsidy are they talking about? And what is subsidy in, the, in, in this case? Is it the, the price they use in, in importing a, a product that is, uh, we have the, uh, the crude here? So it doesn't make sense. Whether they announce that they're going to do it in 10 years' time or they're going to do it in the next one year, the NLC is still standing on its position to sensitize Nigeria that this is not sustainable. And this idea of wealth subsidy is a hoax, you know, which so, they are using to inflict. If so we are using to inflict pain, Nigeria. Is so NLC. Plan rally yes, please. I was going to talk about that. Are you still going on with the plan rally and when? 27th of January. 2022 rally nationwide rally in SCT. So what what is this rally about? Because if you say they're postponing the evil day, uh, you're sensitizing Nigerians. Are you sensitizing Nigerians for the evil day ahead? What is yet to happen, which we don't know when it will happen? Or what exactly is the intention? On the implications of the action which the federal government intends to take, that's the sensitization. And then putting our foot soldiers, you know, uh, at a lot. The sensitization is to put them at a lot on any eventual, you know, action. On this issue of uh, increase in pump price of petroleum products, from uh, the current price to almost uh, 300 and something uh, naira per liter. So those are issues. You know, and we are looking at it that we only need to educate them that Nigeria can refine. We only need to debunk all the lies that our refineries are old. You know, some of the oldest refineries in the world, you know, we are built in in 1901, and some in 1950-something, some in 1940-something. And some of them, they have up, they have increased their capacity from where they were, they were not degenerating. It's only in Nigeria, after spending close to 9.5 billion in the last few years in the name of trying to do turn around maintenance. And then they will continue to tell you that the refineries can work. So it is corruption that is, is, is embedded in the system, and they should rather name it. And they are telling you that uh, subsidies, subsidies, that let them define for us what subsidies are all about. In the last few weeks, you are hearing of the problem in, the, in rivers where the governor is even arresting individuals.